Hi everybody, welcome back to This is the Police. We are back. It is day 72. We're just about to get started. Freeburg Tribune is saying the dentist kills former secretary of Mayor Rogers. We know that happened because we started the investigation yesterday. Actually, we got the thing right too, based on the card. It was a pretty easy one. Uh, Golden Bird is saying former secretary of Mayor Rogers found brutally murdered and with her teeth removed as well because it's the dentist that killed her. Uh, that's the Golden Bird. And the fact, Freeburg's number one paper... 33-year-old Judith Pierce becomes third victim of the dentist. So um, the dentist has managed um, a couple of things, actually. He's killed a lot of people, for one. Uh, he's played a fuckload of mind games with me personally as well. But another thing that he's managed to do, which has been really good for Freeburg, which nobody really expected, is that he's managed to unite these three pa papers, and they're all reporting roughly the same shit, which is crazy. Uh, and we're in everybody's good books. A watch pot never boils. That's not true, actually. It does boil. It just seems to take longer, but it does actually boil. Trust me, I've done it a couple of times. Zeigler. I drank too much. I don't think I can hold it together today. Can I go home? Yes, but come in tomorrow, Zeigler, for Christ's sake. I drank too much. I don't think I... Fucking you're coming in tomorrow too, mole. I need to take my car in the shop. Can you spare me today? No, Curtis. You're coming in for fuck's sake. Jeez. And Faust... What the shit? Are we holding on to Faust for money? Because we need to let him go. Okay, we need to get... We got Just In Case in. We got Tar in as well. Fucking, we need some more detectives. Like, so bad. Like, I feel like our police officers are good. We're in a good spot with them. Except for maybe Curtis, whose hair is completely inappropriate for the job. We got Jay Boogie now as well, who looks like a Sergeant Mahoney type. And he's got a stripe as well, which is kind of crazy. Uh, but man, we need some detectives. We need to... Be batting through these cases all right anyway let's go to map it's another business day and it is day 72 and we're we're all over it we're starting it's shift b's time to shine that's right team spectacle team asia are back in full effect tony baloney jay boogie man it sounds like some sort of like a rap shout out album doesn't it all right labor market we are going to hire douglas wolf okay who wait a second though for shift a we have to because we lost two people on shift A. All right, Douglas Wolf, you're hired for shift A, and Harry Hall, you're hired as well for shift A. Perfect. All right, great. We're doing we're doing all right here. We're off to a good start. We have to rearrange our investigation. So these two guys are in. Sadly, these two guys are not in. Uh, the worst, for fuck's sake. So we're gonna get Moser and Johnson. These two guys just did not bother to fucking come in. Unbelievable. Okay, Moser and Johnson, help them out. And uh, just in case, and Tar, you're going to have Wolf and Hall, our new hires. Show them the ropes. Get the cases closed. You know, we need, uh, we need some... Uh, it's our stats, right? There's an illegal business activity taking place in the suburbs. Uh, electronic shop owner Henry Harker reported that two young men were collecting computers in their garage and selling them without a registered sales license. This upstart with his fat friend are trying to destroy my business. They're making a cheap counterfeits and misleading potential customers. These fraudsters don't have any respect for the law. All right, Jay Boogie, it's your time to shine. You and Tony Baloney go out there and see what's going on. Jay Boogie, Tony Baloney, motherfucking powers. We got gist. We got that um, cracker ass Yancey. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the fuck is going on with this squad ship B anymore. It's crazy. Disorderly conduct at City Hall? No problem. A woman entered City Hall carrying a basin, proceeded to the restroom to fill it with hot water, and took it to the front desk where she proceeded to wash her hair. The guard on duty called the police. Apparently, the woman is protesting the fact that her home has been without hot water for two months. The city has failed in its promise to fix the problem. All right, we can send one off. This sounds like a trap to me. Um, so we're going to send Curtis out. I hope she dies. And because uh, her hair is totally inappropriate for this job. Uh, we can only send one officer out. I feel like Curtis is good for this uh, task, though, as well. Because she's also a woman with long hair. And if she was without hot water and she couldn't wash her inappropriate hair every day before work, I feel like she might have some empathy in this situation. So that's fine. Illegal business activities in the garage. They're doing some work that's making a lot of noise. No one answers the door. 
Uh, turn on the siren and loudspeaker and demand they open the garage doors. Break the door down. Just forcefully knock on the door, I think is fine. There's a few students sitting in a jumble of computer circuit boards soldering something. What's going on here? You guys get you guys are shut getting shut down permanently. Let's go down to the police station and discuss what you're doing here. Let's just say what's going on here. J Boogie? Oh, for fucks. How? How did you guys let them get away? J Boogie, I can uh, Tony Baloney, I'm disappointed. Very disappointed. Jesus Christ. It doesn't often happen on my watch that somebody gets away. And when somebody does get away, mark my words, we're going to hunt him down like a fucking animal and kill him. Nah, we're not going to do that. <laughs> we should, though. Disorderly con... What the fuck, Curtis? What the shit? Are What's going on with you fucking idiots? Why are you letting everybody get away? She had a fucking basin. What, was she running down the street? And there's water sloshing all over the place, flying out. And Curtis can't even catch up. What the fucking bullshit. That's some fucking bullshit. You three are going to be fired. Especially you, Curtis. Christ. What a fucking asshole. Holy shit. Oh my god. Day 72 is like, what the fuck is going on? It's like nothing going on. All day. Those are the only two calls that we've had all day. And they've been crap. And we still managed to let them get away. I mean, we could have sent Team Spectacles out. We could have sent Team Asia out. And you know what? That would have been a case closed. There would have been no umming and awing about it. All right. Reckless endangerment. A passerby noticed a suspicious worker carrying a drill dangerously close to the roadway. He pulled his helmet down over his eyes, but I never got, forget a face. I knew right away I recognized him. It's the dentist. And he looks like he's about to jump out of the road and start drilling people right in their cars. Jesus Christ. All right. You know what? Fucking poor team spectacle. They're just sitting around. Oh, they don't want to go. You know what? Fight. We're going to hold you back then, Team Spectre. Okay, McNamara, Vela. We're sent. No, you know what? We're not sending our best guys to this. It's a fucking false alarm. You know who we're sending? We're going to send Tony Baloney, Jay Boogie, and fucking Curtis out. Okay? And if he is out there drilling people right in their cars, hopefully these three get drilled too. The last picture show theater. There's some drug sales. Movie house cashier E. Moody noticed a suspicious van, which seems to be some kind of shop. He's afraid that drug traffickers have moved in next door. All right, this now sounds like a perfect one for Team Spectacle. Team Spectacle, just sitting at the stations, twiddling their thumbs. They're the best officers on this shift. Maybe uh, completely in line with Team Asia. I don't want to show any favoritism, but um, the worker was repairing the road and wasn't threatening anyone. This is reckless endangerment. Okay, fine. So Baloney, Tony Baloney, Jay Boogie, and Curtis. Did not die, sadly. There's been an assault at a gas station as well. A trucker grew furious when he discovered a dead cockroach in his sandwich. He grabbed the waitress by her hair, beat her head on the table. The roadhouse's hostess called the police. Hurry. Soon he'll be coming for me. All right. Team Asia. Do it. Show him how it's done. <laughs> or, or don't. The van is parked alone near the cinema. It looks empty. All right. Walk up and quietly knock on the door, or do we watch? Do we just simply watch? Let's watch. Someone started moving inside the van. Don't move! Ah, oh, shit, yeah. That's how it's done. That's how it's done, Tony Baloney, Jay Boogie, and Curtis. A team spectacle, when you charge them with something, guess what? They always get their man. Same with Team Asia because we don't want to show any favoritism. Tony Baloney, Jay Boogie, and Curtis, you guys have a lot to learn, okay? If, if you're even around that long, okay? Because that was fucking terrible. Harassment at Eddie's Burgers. A woman is on the phone claiming that the person sitting at the next table is the terrible maniac from the TV. The man was staring at his feet and carrying a work bag on his shoulder, which showed the contours of a drill. All right, Tony Baloney, Jay Boogie, off you go. They're like the new, they're like, they're like the new team, but they're like Scooby-Doo and Shaggy. They're terrible. All right. And meanwhile, in successful population Maza and Numada, Team Asia, another perpetrator has been apprehended at a gas station. So that's good. Uh, there's a sus suspicious individual in the suburb. Just one, apparently. Um, a strange taxi driver brought me home one night, then stayed parked outside my house looking up at my windows. I'm afraid it's that maniac who likes to come drill you at night. Please come quickly. All right, fine. We're going to send out Austin Powers here with uh, Curtis and Class. You know what? Not even with Class. Just Austin Powers and Curtis. Try to 
we're gonna try to beef up Curtis a bit because she only has 80 professionalism, which is terrible, and I think it's because of her hair. Oh my god, we actually got two new frames. Look at this, it's coming together now. We got two new frames. Uh, this is Detective Tar himself has managed to get two new frames. This is more like it. This is what's actually happened, right? I'm not sure that this happened, but this possibly could have happened. So what did she say? Is it Mrs. Miss Perez? I was, I was talking on the phone. Uh, her car went to open it and said, see you, and hung up. When I got there, I saw a big man in a hood on the stairs. Then I opened his apartment with the key her car and found him dead in a pool of blood. Okay, so this happened here, and this could have possibly happened here. This might have happened here. This might have actually happened. This could have happened. Okay, so this, none of this actually happened. The pizza stuff did not happen, okay? Uh, he might have had some pizza in the house at some point, but this guy actually turned up, beat the shit out of him, and, and then that happened, and then this happened. Okay, so we're waiting for more frames on this one as to what really happened in this case. It's taking forever. All right, harassment. The man was coming home from his work at a factory. The bag he's carrying holds only a change of clothes and a lunchbox. This is the Eddie's Burger thing. All right, fine. That's fine. Um, and we had to send somebody out, right? Like, it, it was just it's just something that you have to do. We don't want to have a situation where somebody's phoning up and saying, and then the police didn't send anyone out uh, to my call. Taxi driver is taking his break and enjoying a sandwich he'd brought from home. There was no drill in his car, so he was not the dentist, it turned out. Um, a, big, a big surprise. Uh, normally when somebody says he had a drill in his bag and he was going to drill me all night, uh, it's a false alarm, right? It's like some sort of like wishful fantasy, but not not actually anything to do with reality um, All right day 72 is ended shift B Good enough work. We're gonna declare Faust dead now so that we can get another detective in because we desperately need some new detectives uh, Robin Williams and tar did a pretty good job at getting some more frames today. That was nice Tony Baloney, Jay Boogie, and Curtis all did terrible jobs today. Um, of course, Team Spectacle and Team Asia did uh, amazing jobs, as usual today. Um, and then, all, like, our heavy hitters, like McNamara and Vela, but they didn't even get to go out today because there was just nothing worth going out to. Uh, so it, it was nice. They got to stay in and just polish their boots and, like, uh, clean their guns and stuff, and that was really good. Are we going to get some story? Fuck, I hope so. Day 73. Not even any story. It was just another day. Just another routine day at the office. All right, we'll do 73 now. Because uh, day 72 is so quick. Holy shit. Freeburg Tribune. School bus crashes into candy store. Oh, my God. Uh, the Golden Bird is saying that a drunken firefighter soaks pedestrian with hose. Okay, that's not uh, great. And the fact, Freeburg's number one paper, Christopher G. Sands Ice Arena hosts book fair. Nice. Uh, we're in everybody's good steads and a watch pot never boils, which is untrue. It um, and we're off to work for day 73. Wolf, I drank too much. I don't think I can hold it together today. Can I go home? Yeah, come in tomorrow, though. Jesus Christ, Wolf. Okay, and that means that Zeigler and Mole are on the case today. And it uh, looks like we've got Moser, Johnson, and Hall as well, which is pretty good. Shift A is uh, is a pretty good shift. It's not as good as Shift B, though. But, um, you know, they still do the business when they have to. All right, fine. Day 73, have at you. We're going to do it. We're going to get through this. We're going to change. Oh, this is the uh, call to change our detectives. Tomorrow is the deadline. How many original detectives do we still have left, even? Um, I guess we still have Mole, uh, Moser, Johnson, Tar. These are people that we don't necessarily want to get rid of, though, right? Because they're pretty good. Not Tar so much, but the other guys are good. So I think we just let this one slide, and then we just uh, help out City Hall next time, hopefully. If it works out that way, I'm not too sure. Uh, it looks like the dentist has not struck again for some time. Um, but there is a new homicide on the books. It's uh, Mindy Reyes was returning from work after midnight and came upon a male corpse lying in an alley near her home. Shit. What if it's like gang related or something? Uh, we don't have anybody to assign to this uh, right now either. We're going to have to pull some people off of here. Um, I think we could probably pull Johnson off. 
Do we pull off Johnson? Sure. We'll pull off Johnson. And let's also pull off um, Hall. So he can work on this one. Case, Wolf, and Tar can continue working on that. It's fine. And then we got Mole, Zeigler, and um, what's this? Moser working on the drug trafficking. Okay, hopefully we're good here. All right, let's get Johnson as lead and let's get Hall in to help Johnson and hopefully get some professionalism in the uh, process. That'd be pretty good. Out you go, guys. We got another hot one. We got to close some of these cases. The detectives are going to have to work some overtime again, um, I think. It, it, we're due another round of overtime to close some cases for sure. There's been a theft at the Everyday Mall. The well-known porn actress Betty Belly was caught shoplifting underwear. She's wearing the stolen items and refuses to remove them or pay. Oh my god. All right, fine. Uh, this is definitely an Everett's job. He's going to take his protege, Gay, uh, with him as well. Uh, he's going to teach him all there is to know about World of Warcraft and raiding in World of Warcraft. Gay doesn't even speak English or understand English, so he's just like, whatever. And uh, hopefully they can get to the bottom of that porn star doing whatever she's doing. Uh, corpse. His right hand has been severed and there's bruises behind the knees. Th there's three bullet holes in the chest and a lot of blood around the body. Mrs. Reyes, I didn't recognize him at first, but it's my neighbor, Edgar Sanchez. I often met him with a tough, dangerous looking woman. They're always fighting loudly. I remember she was ugly with a tattoo of an AK-47 on her neck. Wow. Mr. Jones, uh, who's homeless, I woke up to heart-rending screams, but when I got out of my box, everything was quiet. I only saw a man from behind. He had a gun in his belt, and he got into one of those expensive cars. He looked like a man, but he had long hair, so who knows about the, his prick, okay? There's lots of those fags hanging around. <laughs> Great. Okay, thanks, uh, Prince Jones. And uh, Mr. Sklar, the landlord, the other day I saw Edgar Sanchez arguing in the street with some weird guy in a hood with a cane. The guy poked Edgar in the stomach a couple of times with his cane, and I thought about calling the cops, but they just shook hands and went their separate ways. Sanchez was always paid his rent on time and in cash, though I don't think he had a job. I think he was into drugs and maybe something else illegal. Maybe it's something to do with Vargas. And then medical examiner, the hand was separated from the body while Edgar Sanchez was still alive. The smooth edges of the wound indicate that it was inflicted in one swift motion. The bruises in the pop popliteal popliteal region were from a hard object like a nightstick or a club apparently the culprit first forced his victim to the ground all right this is all good information for us to know excellent well i mean not excellent that somebody has died in freeburg but excellent that we have a lot of information to Looks go like off of the lady yeah. is behaving provocatively officer you want to take it off me yourself oh my god this is actually happening at happening at the everyday mall. Everett's is like literally the color of a tomato. Gay doesn't know what the fuck is going on, but he's enjoying every minute of it. You are very kind, but we'll have to go down the station. Persuade the store manager this can be solved amicably and arrange to meet with Betty alone. Put the porn actress in handcuffs. Okay, we're gonna have to. We're gonna open with this. You are very kind, but we'll have to go down to the station. All right, Everett's and Gay. That's enough gallivanting around the streets for one day pack it in pack it up and pack it in bring her back in let me begin by all means that's a sin paul lassart route 22 jack old friend the police academy staff have come down with the stomach flu and a huge influx of new recruits is coming in we just don't have the manpower help an old friend out send me five smart guys who can help organize everything and start up the program smart guys you say all right here we go. We're, we're pulling a, a Cuba in the 1980s. We're just going to empty our prison of the dregs and we're going to send them over to the police academy to help out. All right. Go do it, guys. <laughs> Fucking go help them. We're sending all of our smart guys out. Hopefully we can deal with all the crimes while all these guys are gone. Uh, there's been a fraud at St. John's Cathedral. A priest just called in saying there's a woman right on the front steps of the cathedral selling his parishioners golden tickets to paradise for 50 bucks a pop. What terrible blasphemy. You must arrest his, this lost soul immediately. All right. This sounds like a Gorshkov uh, little job. Out you guys go. 
Gorshkov and Little are both widows, widowers, of course, and uh, are, are pleased to have the company together on this um, on this case. It's been a homicide in the suburb. Gardner saw a young man pushing her elderly, wheelchair-bound husband into the deep end of a pool. Yikes. All right. Everts and Gay, you're up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why aren't we sending Chins, Robin, and Vandell to anything? We're holding out just in case something big comes up. Chief, it was just a crazy day, but we were glad to have had a hand in shaping our future officers. To be honest, we have all got a lot to learn, especially Hode and Crosby. They were awful. The captain even forced them to stay behind for retraining. Oh, shit. Okay, that's fine. Grant and Underwood got stripes for that, and Petska sadly did not. That was great. Holy shit. I think they're gone for the day now, though. Um, it was a crazy day. And they're not coming back. St. John's Cathedral, this is the fraud. There's a woman standing on the steps of the cathedral. A long line of people are waiting to speak with her. Badger and ask for a discount. Tell the woman that you need to get her to the station. Take a turn and watch what's happening. Okay, let's take a turn and watch what's happening. The perp yells out, police, and throws the rest of the golden tickets into the crowd, then runs away. The crowd of people trying to grab more tickets are hindering the police. Out of the way, you're interfering with police business. In the name of the good lord, stop. Use a nightstick to clear a path and chase down the woman. Okay, we're going to say out of the way, you're interfering with police business. Gorshkov, little. Oh, man, good job. Holy shit. They thought that they weren't going to be able to do it, but guess what? They did it through the power of sadness because they both miss their dead husband and wife very dearly but aren't clever enough to realize that actually the two of them could get together but maybe not homicide in the suburbs offender caught officers unharmed civilians unharmed it looks like that actually did happen gay is becoming very professional everts is teaching him everything he knows about coordination situational awareness and all the other things skills you must possess to become a world-class raider in world of warcraft uh everett's is uh well seasoned gay has never touched a computer in his life uh but he's trying his best attempted carjacking at the live good mini market in the parking lot an elderly woman reports two men in business suits circling a car in the parking lot trying to get in the woman repeated the conversation shared what do we do now genius break the window this is just a false alarm right uh it totally has to be we're gonna send vandal out there uh, we're going to send them out there with Robins. Because uh, they probably just locked themselves out of the, the friend's car or something. Lucifer in the Sky with Lizards nightclub. At a concert, the drummer for the local metal band Plunger in the desert became offended by some, sh some, by some shouting from the crowd. And in a rage, threw his bass drum into the audience. Some fans suffered injury while others rushed the stage to retaliate against the musician. All right, fine. We are going to need the paddy wagon for this. Everett's gay chin um and you know what we're gonna send little out there as well and you know what F fuck it we're gonna send gorshkov too we're gonna send as many dudes as we can all right everybody get out there everts is in like full raid mode he's like uh you know he's not even in charge chin is actually technically in charge but everts is just taking it upon himself to become the raid leader of this nightclub raid that they're staging here shit there's been a massive fight at the Unicorns of Arcadia Gay Club. We don't have the officers for, for this stuff right now. What happened with the carjacking? Okay, it was a false alarm. We knew that was going to be the case. Oh my fucking god. What the fuck? Holy shit. Plunger in the desert at the concert has claimed five lives tonight. <laughs> All of the police officers, how the fuck? The paddy wagon is fine though. Shit! Fuck! These guys were good! Little and Chin! Oh, Pink Chin was our best officer, I think. Now she's dead. Oh, God. That's fucking brutal. We do not have the manpower for any of this stuff. What's happening here? We got three new frames. This is the new murder. Okay, all of this stuff could have actually happened. Let's take a look at it while we're waiting for people to get back. All right, so uh, here we have uh, him him dead. Looks like he's just been shot. Um, this guy's following him in and then 
breaking his kneecaps. That's all we have to go on for now. Drug trafficking report. We also got some new frames. Okie dokie. Uh, this seems like this might go like here and there. Uh, what's this? What's going on different here? Oh, this could be... It's his hat's different. Um, this, I don't know what the difference here is. Maybe it's like... Oh, it's the flag. Where does it come from? Cargo delivery? Uh, from Colombia. Fuck, what's the Colombian? Is it this or that? I'm not sure. And this could be right as well then. Um, this gets unloaded like this. Okay, the payment delivery. Federico Leteras aboards the ship and pays the captain for his services. Okay, that happens like straight away. If not, like, uh, after unloading. The urns filled with drugs are locked in a large yellow container. It gets unloaded first. The urns are packed in boxes and are shipped uh, by truck to the Itala Funeral Home. Okay, perfect. Um, and then support. One of Federica Leteres' guards escorts the truck driver to the Itala Funeral Home. Okay, so that's her guard. He's making sure that this stuff is happening. Uh, so it's like... Hang on. It's like... Either this, maybe it's that. This comes off of the boat here. The boat is from Colombia. I can't remember the Colombian flag. So that comes off first. That goes there. That We've got everything we need here. I'm sure we have everything that we need. Uh, it's just getting it sequenced right and then uh, hoping that we have the right flag. Uh, so this guy, would he be wearing, if he was uh, from Colombia, would he just be wearing a normal captain's hat or one of these hats? I'm not sure, actually. And then this comes off first and then gets unpacked. But this could happen here instead. Gets unpacked and then... So this could be like... There, finally, okay. The suspect is Federica Laterza, owner of the Atala Funeral Home. Good job, Mole, Zeigler, and Moser. Finally, some good news today. Holy shit. We have a lot of shit kicking off here. Big time. Like, this is about to expire. It's only Robbins and Vandal who can make it out to this one. Shuang Mao was taking out the trash when she saw four men in expensive suit knock on a neighbor's apartment door. Then go inside. One of them caught sight of Mrs. Mao. He approached her and politely asked her to forget everything, warning her that talkative people often have untimely accidents. Soon afterwards, the sound of screaming and muffled gunshots came from her neighbor's apartment. All right, well, Robbins and Vandal, you're the only guys here who can actually handle this. I've also got a massive fight at the Unicorns of Arcadia Gay Club and nobody to fucking respond to it. Like, all these guys are out for the day. Fuck. What is this? This is the drug trafficking. Oh yeah, this is for Federica Leterza. Has a meeting scheduled with the head of Port Workers Union. Could send the SWAT team out for this one as well. And uh, of course, we also have uh, Gorgon Hair Salon. Federica Leter Leterza has an upcoming appointment. I think we're going to go with the first one. Okay, or not. We can't do any of them. Offender escaped. Civilians have been killed. We just didn't have anyone to send to this on day 73, if you can believe it. The Gay Unicorns Nightclub. Fuck. Unbelievable. Vandal and Robbins are still on this call as well, which may find them dead as well. Okay, we don't have any reinforcements for you. There's a suspicious individual. Vandal and Robbins, you're going to have to just fucking deal with it. All right. Vandal and Robbins. Fucking something finally gave. All right, we found some cocaine as well. Holy shit. All right. Uh, we're going to ask the Mafia to sell cocaine because it sells for a lot of money. All right. We have lost Pink Chin, Everts, the, uh, his guild are going to be fucking devastated. Gorshkov and Little. Uh, they could have gotten together in their sadness, but now they're dead. And Gay, who was just starting to learn English was thinking about trying a computer for the first time. He didn't know what Everts was fucking talking about, but he thought to himself, you know what? I don't know what this young guy with long hair and like 20 chins is talking about, but fuck me if I'm not happy to just be in America and like working in Freeburg as a police officer. And now he's dead. He's fucking dead. I can't believe it. Jesus. We need to do some paper. You know what? We're just going to declare them all dead. We don't... Okay. Little, you're dead. Gorshkov, you're dead. Everts, you're dead. Gay. I think he might have been here legally in the... First. You're dead as well. For fuck's sake. Are we going to get any story at least? 
No! Ball sacks. Day 74. Alright. We have some hiring to do. We got some stuff to clean up. Federica Leterza, we finally can arrest her and maybe make some money, which would be fucking pretty sweet, actually. So we'll try uh, to do that next time. Uh, and hopefully, man, hopefully day 74 goes better than day 73. That was terrible. My god, that was terrible. Shit. I think uh, we're going to get a hit on um, City Hall. It looks like the hit has already happened. Never look gift horse in the mouth. Uh, okay, perfect. Well, there you go. More. This is the police. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. Um, as usual, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time!